Now, I can hardly have escaped you that it's Sherlock Holmes week on BBC Two this week. The BBC's food and drink directorate, therefore, has charged us with investigating the great detective's gastronomic habits. Where could we start? A dinner of the Sherlock Holmes Society, of course. Elementary, my dear Watson. Holmes and oysters. Well, uh, actually, the, the, the most um, explicit reference to oysters, he says uh, to Watson, um, will not the world be over? But Watson, of course, was a trencherman, wasn't he? Where, where Holmes doesn't seem to have eaten much at all. Quantity rather than quality. I mean, Watson would have eaten a bowl of hat, wouldn't he? Stuck it in the other thing. <laughs> uh, don't you think it was a way that they couldn't keep things awfully fresh, and so you had to put a lot of curry powder with things so in this disguise so the yes. yeah. On another occasion, um, what uh, Holmes refers to something choice in white wines. So he's obviously And when they captured the German spy on board, before they could take him to turn him in, as it were, to the authorities, they raised his cellar and drink his imperial Tokai. <laughs> Another glass, Watson. <laughs> 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 This evening's Sherlock Holmes film, Charles Augustus Milverton. Sir. Oh, good heavens. Uh, show him in. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. Now, sit down. Thank you. Now then, I trust I shall do justice to your Mrs. Hudson in my item on gentlemen's housekeepers. I'm sure you will, my dear fellow. Well, that's capital. Eh, Watson? Uh, uh, yes, it's splendid. Yeah. Your accounts of Mr. Holmes' exploits, Dr. Watson, have long intrigued our viewers. Oh, really? But now they're eager to learn more about Mr. Holmes' tastes in food and drink. Oh, indeed. Yes, and with your permission, I shall now hasten to Mrs. Hudson's kitchen in a bid to learn more about you both. Perhaps a tasty tidbit or two, who knows? What? Oh, <laughs> Elementary, as Mr. Holmes would say. He told me to expect a large gentleman with a crooked nose and a notebook. <laughs> Do sit down. Thank you, you very much. Tell me, is Mr. Holmes a very demanding lodger? Demanding? No, oh, no. But he does have what you might call his quirks. Quirks, Mrs. Hudson? He keeps his tobacco in a Persian slipper, you know. A very aromatic. True as I'm standing here. And where do you think he stores his cigars? I cannot imagine. In the coal scuttle. Would you believe it? Not one of his better days. So no, indeed. Does Mr. Holmes have any favorite dishes? He's a great man for breakfast. Two or three nice rashers, eggs, and coffee. And alcohol, does he have a taste for that? Mr. Holmes will take a glass of claret or something choice in a white wine, occasionally a whiskey. Now, I fear there have been times when his tastes have run to stronger potions still. What can you mean, Mrs. Hudson? Oh, my. We are being inquisitive, aren't we? Not I, I assure you, but the public. Mr. Holmes is, after all, a very famous person. Well, I'm sorry. But on that matter, my lips are sealed. Understood. However, I dare say you can reveal what you're making here. Oh, this is another of Mr. Holmes' favourites. A lovely plum duff. Now, on behalf of our viewers, may I make a note of the ingredients? Certainly, Mr. Kelly. Perhaps you'd care to take a closer look. Now, you need six ounces of sultanas, ten ounces of self-raising flour, a small pinch of salt, five ounces of finely shredded beef suet and a little water to bind. Mm. And the method of preparation? Well, first, you sift your flour into a basin, stir in your sultanas 
and just sew it and make a well in the middle. Gradually add your water to make a dough. Now, when you've got it into a ball shape, you tie it up loosely in a muslin cloth. I'd be grateful if you'd assist me at this point, Mr. Kelly. I should count the privilege, Mrs. Hudson. Allow me. There we are. There. After that's done, you let it boil steadily for two and a half hours. <clears throat> Just as I've done here. After that, all you've got to do is serve it, dusted with Barbados sugar and served with the finest Jersey cream. Watson, we must leave immediately. Oh, absolutely. Oh. And you can be sure that as soon as you've got it to the table, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson will hurl themselves into a hansom and dash off on another case. Honestly, I don't know why I bother. I really don't. Well, Mr. Kelly, you look like a gentleman as would relish a nice hot pudding straight from the stove. Why don't you stay and have a bite? Well, here it is. Oh, that's what I call a dime. Uh, nice well, yes, Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to Mrs. Hudson. Here it is. Mrs. Hudson. Mrs. Hudson. God. Mrs. Hudson. Bless her. She's a saucy one and no mistake. Did you get your plum back? <laughs> I had to die. It's delicious, but I, it could be an Olympic event, putting the dough. It's fairly substantial. <laughs> Quite solid looking. No 